Welcome back. Time for some more AI art because last time was freaking cool. I'm not just saying that. It was actually cool. Look at what we made last time with your help. Started off on a low note. We made long clown. End of the world. Pretty cool. Bananas in a dark cave. Creature in the depths. Raining cats and dogs. The coolest guy. Look how cool that guy is. Flooded mining shaft. Infinite runes. Probably my favorite one. As above, so below. Deep ocean and twisted glass beach so we're doing this again but we're doing it better in two ways one you guys flooded my comment section last time with more suggestions which i've saved a bunch of i'll be doing mostly things people suggested because there's some really good ones in there secondly i have about twice as many credits to spend on these than last time so we're going to do a lot more we're going to play around with some different aspect ratios some different uh advanced options different resolutions more iterations etc etc let's start with paradox and let's do widescreen because we did all squares last time we're going to do a couple different ones there's also like mobile phone screen for like phone wallpapers which we'll probably do out of nothing came a paradox an orange paradox an orangish red paradox and then it looks like a map of the world almost <laughs> i can like see continents it looks like africa right there could be the continent of asia maybe this is like india right here what's going on you just is the world a paradox are we the paradox okay this is looking creepy <laughs> what am i looking at how is it almost done too is this really like what it's gonna make a paradox is a paradox what can i say it's just shapes and nonsense okay well i mean the whole point was that it's something that doesn't make any sense to visualize so but something i wanted to do is try the same phrase twice also, for anyone wondering, I'll link the place I'm doing this in the description. It's Night Cafe Studio is what it's called. Okay, maybe it just starts off with those kind of colors. That way it knows what colors to add to those. Maybe it's good starting colors. I'm not an artist. I don't know. Yo, this one's coming out weirdy. There's like some humanoid shapes. There's like one here. There's kind of one here. And there's kind of one here, to be honest, to be frank. This is also kind of a human head right here facing this way whoa okay it's done both times it kind of followed a similar color scheme and kind of dynamic where there's kind of like cloud looking things and just kind of abstract shapes this is really weird up here but yeah it's weird that i put in like four different like humanoid type shapes in there there was a couple suggestions for different phobias to see how it interprets that someone said arachnophobia which i will not be doing don't worry that sounds like a recipe for nightmares let's do liminal space because we didn't do that last time and it felt like a really obvious thing that we should have done we're doing this like a phone wallpaper doing a vertical i will be posting all of these on my discord if you would like to save them i put them on instagram last time but you can't save photos of instagram you can just screenshot them so you end up getting this tiny little resolution but i can post the full res things on discord okay this is looking cool it is interesting it almost always starts with this like gray brown and like pink bro this is it it's done look at that it left kind of a lot of empty space but i guess it used the word space literally this looks like stars so liminal and space <laughs> but yeah the liminal part it did good it's kind of interesting to have these pockets of like abstract environments amidst just empty space so yeah cool i like it okay let's do a couple more widescreen ones let's do erupting sunset i wish you could go higher res than medium res but We'll see how clear this one comes out. Bro, erupting sunset. That is really cool looking. I'm glad we did widescreen. It's kind of a sunset, but the clouds in the sunset are kind of mountainous. Some of them more obvious than others. Then you've got a couple like lava explosions, like a more obvious volcanic eruption here. That's really cool. I appreciate the suggestion, lol turtle 145. Let's do an obvious one. Let's do thalassophobia. I can't believe I didn't do this one last time. Yikes. Yikes indeed. It's interesting because it almost looks like a room. Like these almost look like walls going back, which kind of makes it creepier because it's like you're in like a basement that is also underwater. <laughs> kind of some unidentifiable objects and the classic claws. Can't live without claws. And maybe the moon? <laughs> Kind of a humanoid, maybe diver, or just a sea creature. Man, looking at your guys' suggestions here, we have living clouds. I think that's an interesting one. Bro, we got some anime clouds up in here. Hmm. It's like clouds with anime hair and anime eyes. Um, this is 
not what I was expecting. Uh, minus the clouds having anime faces, this this little like distant warrior is kind of a cool, I guess, trope. Let's do Leviathan, the meaning of life, happiness, ship in a bottle, consciousness, anxiety, deja vu, trapped in space. Let's do deja vu. What the hell? This is, this is funky, bro. It's like parts of airplanes and just vehicles on like this twisty track with some shrubs. Did it like just interpret that deja vu song like meme? Deja vu. It's a reasonable theory. I wanna do something that's more visual. Let's do ship in a bottle. I wanna get variety. That's really what I want. This one's cool. I love all the glass and like the reflecting lights. We we kind of lucked out though. We got a little buy one, get one free deal. We got like, there's a ship here, ship here. This ship is on top of the bottle. Gonna have to take some points off for that one. It's funny, it just like put random pieces of ships. This is definitely like the most, I guess, accurate representation. It's a pretty distinct bottle shape with a pretty distinct ship shape. Ship shape. Okay, let's do Leviathan. What kind of Leviathan? That's up to them to decide. We could define Cosmic Leviathan. I really liked we did Cosmic Horror last time and that one came out super cool. Let's do Vertical on this one. As much as I'd like these to be PC wallpapers, the highest res you can do is pretty low. It might look a little weird if you stretch them to a monitor size, but a phone screen's probably the right size. Did I do higher res on this one? Why does this look so good? Bro, that's a wallpaper right there. Like I said, these will be on the Discord if you wanna download them. It's cool that it didn't just make like space. You really can't tell what this is, but it blends in so well. But there's like these weird, almost like mosaic shapes kind of around it, which give it just a really ethereal feel to use a word that I don't really understand, but I think feels relevant. Should we do another kind of vague one, like anxiety? Anxiety. What if you did a picture of your face as the starting image and then added anxiety and then it doesn't change anything and it's like, you have anxiety? Yikes, this one's gross, <laughs> creepy looking. Anxiety and it does, it does give me anxiety. It's just a bunch of like morphy faces surrounded by strips of bacon. Eh, if you want that one, you can have it. Castle in the sky was one. Bazinga. Yay, this one's turned out good. Dude, this is cool. I was gonna say, this looks like an anime cover, but I then I remembered that's literally the prompt I gave it was the title of an anime movie. It all makes sense. This could be a wallpaper if it was higher res. Yeah, I mean, it's not small. This is its true resolution. It doesn't fill my screen, but it, you don't have to stretch it that much. Let's power through a few more here. We got, let's do trapped in space. I love space ones, bro. This is some like interstellar stuff. Look at all these like doorways. It's funny how much the AI loves to just do like vaguely humanoid, all black like silhouettes. And it seems like no matter what you have it do, it'll shove one of those in there somewhere if there's an opportunity for it. This is cool though. It's like three people kind of like going through. This honestly works better for paradox than the paradox one. Someone did say that you can give it like extra defining traits. Like you can say like charcoal drawing and it will kind of give whatever you tell it to do in that art style. So let's try that. Crystal heart. Let's do pencil sketch just to start. Pixel art. What does it do with pixel art? Let's let's do that. Bada bing, bada boom. It's funny how like little it did for this one. There's a couple hearts. We got one here. We got one here. It is funny that it's like emulating pixel art where it's obviously not actual pixel art where it didn't like, it's just like it looked at pixel art and was like, okay, it's a lot of squares. And they like just put a bunch of squares in here. I honestly hoped it would be a little more pixel art looking. Yeah, a lot of people suggested mostly like vague, like abstract things, which I think is interesting. But a lot of times I feel like those just come out as like swirly, twirly messes. I like kind of combining like an abstract with a physical where it's like cosmic horror, where it's kind of vague, but you also give it some sort of backdrop. Let's do forest, forest something. I like the idea of it, it's interpretation of a forest. I kinda wanna do forest cultists. Wow, this one's like cartoony. This is a whole different style. I like it. It actually is cool. I thought it was gonna be like creepy, but it really is just like a bunch of like elves chilling in the forest. That's cool. That actually looks like someone could have drawn that, like digital art, like someone, hey, I drew my favorite character from Raid Shadow Legends. Tell me what you think. Be nice. I'm new to this. Okay, let's do, 
a pencil drawing one. I'm really curious. Someone said astronaut in the ocean. That's so big right now. So let's do that. Let's not do pencil drawing because I want color on this one. Let's do glowing neon. This one is so sick. Astronaut in the ocean, glowing neon. Dude, glowing neon, remember that. That made this so cool. It's funny, it always shoves in like one more of whatever it is. Get that guy out of here. <laughs> See how it looks like photorealistic in some sections? I think it's using images of the ocean and stitching them together. That's why it looks so real because it literally is probably based on a real image of the ocean. This was low res, right? So I could do one more high up. Okay, we got enough for like three more. Urban exploring was a good one. This might be a good one for pencil sketch. Wow. I know I keep saying the same thing, like this is so cool, but like this is cool. This is legit. It looks like a pencil sketch and there's even like potentially a pencil in there and like little abstract clouds of pencils around to let us know. Find the humanoid. Here? Looks like maybe on a ladder or something. These staircases are cool. Let's make some vibey stuff. Let's do Oceanside Town acrylic art. How about just Ocean Town? Bro, this town be sinking, dude. Cool. I love the acrylic zoom. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool how it can do styles. I mean, beyond the subject matter, beyond like just how nonsensical the physics are of this, I don't know if a person would draw this it looks like acrylics were used right like this looks like it could be a real piece of art i know it's the end of the video at this point and i'm just having this realization but this opens up a whole new can of worms for next time a sequel will be born lo-fi beats to study and chill lo-fi cafe glowing neon there we go I should have done this one widescreen. Whenever you do the tall ones, it like keeps producing whatever it was upwards. There's like a floor here and like what could be the roof, but then it like starts another floor and it starts another floor and it just like stacks a bunch of whatever it is on top of each other to fill the space. This would be cool, I think, if it just went sideways. But it's really interesting to see the like random, like almost writing. It looks like a weird, like new language. That alone is really cool. I want to play around with glowing neon because that is such a cool how it just accents i i was worried it was going to just make the whole thing just glowing neon and it was just going to look insane but this looks cool it knows how to be tasteful i feel like this is one tasteful ai should ask the ai what i should wear tomorrow this is like cheating this is like too easy boom you're an artist now you've got infinite art for whatever you want let's just type in artificial intelligence dude watercolor would be cool looks like we'll be doing this again is this how it sees itself? Is this what it looks like? Like they're kind of a motherboard look, but the actual visual is like a maze. That's so weird. And it's, you got some lights, you got some like robot silver surfer looking human shapes in just what must be the digital world. A void of intelligence. Dude, we got some variety today, dude. We're gonna do this again, no doubt. I will be playing around more with glowing neon, acrylic, pencil sketch, all these sort of defining traits. For next time, think more like art pieces. Cause for this time, we tried out some like abstract things to be like, what would it do if we told it this? But next time I wanna kinda see how cool of a piece of actual art we can make by giving it the right handful of attributes and phrases to make just like a sweet wallpaper or just like cool art. Cause this has so much potential to make like actually cool art. So keep that in mind when you're commenting your suggestions for next time. I'll probably do another one of these as soon as next week because I love this. I know I'm gonna be thinking about this. All these will be on my Discord. Link in the description. It's YouTube. Everyone's links are in the description. You should know by now. Check those out. Maybe hang out in the Discord if you see something you like. I could use more people over there. But anyway, check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.